What's up everybody? It's your host Kurt Dragoon and guys I've been waiting to make this video for a little bit of time. I was hoping to see a little bit more action from miners and drags post winter update uh, but guys I'm going to show you some attacks uh, that I recorded. Um, they still have the snow on them even. It was, it was after the winter update uh, but I was hoping to have a better message for you. I was actually hoping to not be so I guess clickbaitish with the title and not to scare people but guys I'm gonna tell you of the clans that I cover which is a, a few I've only got two minor hits 10v10 post winter update this one is by Akron of Dragon's Rejects and we're gonna take a look we're gonna take a look at the attacks I mean you can see already uh, that this base is a lower level, uh, lower tier Town Hall 10. You know, level 2 Infernos, uh, nothing real substantial. <clears throat> so, and this attack literally was right after the update. Still viable right now, guys, by the way. I mean, nothing's changed since the update. I mean, we're good here, but I just wanted to let you know I'd, I'd waited some time. I was hoping to bring, you know, just a minor video or a dragon video but guys that's not the case we'll discuss um, in the comments if you guys think that dragons and miners are dead 10v10 but I'm gonna show you like I said in there's a glimmer of hope in this video I'm gonna show you they still work but I think the consistency there is is not there and we all know uh, hogs are where the consistent hits are and the teams that I'm covering right now are currently not risking consistency and they're definitely using hog riders majority of the time so right here as you can see there's a little bit of base left he's holding that last heel and the miners are coming in and they're gonna be able to dispatch the rest of the uh, defenses here with that last heel and they're going to be still be banged up, guys. There's, you know, there's uh, quite a lot of defenses left and no heals left. So they're going to be banged up a bit. As you can see, Red's, Red's getting on them here. And towards the end of this hit, you know, it, it really, really ends weak. So it's definitely extremely disconcerting if you were a minor guy. So... Let's move uh, to my last example of a minor hit here, and this is a Queen Walk to Mass Minor. And there again, um, you know, this base is a little bit different. Um, this one is, I think it looks to be um, not quite max defense, but there is a max bow. The Infernos are max for Town Hall 10. You know, it's a little bit more substantial when it comes to a Town Hall 10 base. Not quite maxed, but, but a lot more substantial. So right here, the, the attacker is doing a king bowler walk, or kiwi, whatever you want to call it, and a queen walk on the other side. And this is very reminiscent to the attack styles that were happening uh, pre-winter update. So here comes the miners. He's made the funnel. That's all he was doing here, guys. I mean, we've seen... A ton of these attacks pre-winter update. This is how they went along. A lot of times a fresh hit on a base in the clans I covered was a queen walk to mass minor. And then they would, of course, uh, switch over to a sui mass minor, depending on the town hall. Um, the miners there took care of the queen quite easily. And he has raged them right here in this, uh, in this core to get them through the core. And he's going to use that last heal, and he went ahead and healed before the Inferno Tower, so that meant that, you know, basically the, the miners were in trouble. So that Inferno appears to be on single target, which is what's happening right now, even though these videos were a little bit early um, after the update. Uh, but they were still in the effective change to the miners, and so I think, guys, effectively... Um, Miners are dead. I'm going to just say it. 
It's uh, that's my opinion. I think that if you're 11, um, it's different having the extra troop space. If you're dipping or something like that, uh, you know, you could probably use miners uh, to great effect. But I think as far as 10v10, and this is me just being real, I think you're going to be looking at hog attacks as your viable option or air attacks at Town Hall 10. So guys, that's the last minor hit uh, that, that I've got. And now we're going to go into the dragon hits. Now, I've got three of these examples. However, remember, all three of these have taken me uh, some time to, to get. So, and... There again, this is all I've seen out of all the clans I cover. So let's take a look at this. This is by Max of Old Rivals. And he's run, running a Queen Walk to Drag Loon. And I'm sure there's a Lava Hound. It's probably Drag La Loon, but you know. Looks like he's probably targeting the 2 AD in between the cannon right here might he might wall break not quite sure looking to pull the it looks like he's looking to pull the CC all right and there's uh, he's gonna get that not, that's really nice right there guys max dropped a couple of archers they're gonna take down that air defense they are out of range that is absolutely beautiful how he did that guys very beautiful he didn't use a wizard he could have but he decided to use some archers they're not really important you know just get him to do some work he's gonna boost up that queen one more time and it looks like guys if I'm not crazy here it looks like to me that he's after some more air defense here and if he gets those ADs down, oh wow, that's that's very very impressive, to be honest. He's gonna phase the queen here. It looks like to me, he's uh, he's well. I was gonna say maybe he wasn't gonna use any more spells, but this last spell is gonna ensure that his dragons don't even have to work the core. And so now it's all about the Lalo end of it, and he just has to support those dragons. And actually, it wasn't a Lalo, guys. It was just balloons. There was no Lava Hound in the CC. So now it's down to the balloons. Uh, the queen is dead. The healers are dead now. They were going to try to go to the king. And look how many dragons he has here, guys. This was a very beautiful plan by Max of Old Rivals. Very, very impressive attack. He's going to be able to get through this base and take it down now he does uh, I mean his dragons are gonna be pretty tattered by the end of it but nonetheless it was an excellent plan and an excellent execution from Max we'll speed it up now because it's just clean up all right let's take a look at this one here uh, by Richie of Old Rivals and guys I'm gonna tell you you already see it He's got a Queen Walk, Drag Laloon, possibly. Let's see what's in the CC. But you can see that he's going to target. Um, he's going to funnel the Queen into the compartment with the multiple ADs, probably, and take them out. So the Baby Drag is pushing the Queen. And there's the Wall Break. Queen's going to step up, and she's going to literally take out every one of these air defense. And this is absolutely beautiful by Richie. Excellent planning. Excellent attack. Queen's down. I mean, just awesome. Awesome work here. He's laid out two poisons there. Kind of slow down that CC. And it looks like to me... Oh, I was going to say, oh, that, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. Queen's going to health back up here. Going to actually... She's going to get an Inferno, which is, well, maybe. I don't know. She didn't step up to that Inferno. That makes me uh, wonder. But she will, uh, here at the end, she will have no other option but to target that Inferno. And guys, think about it. Richie has literally took out all the air defense 
and an Inferno Tower. And now he might even get... Well, she's going to try to break in. She's not going to go back for the other Inferno Tower. It's okay, but this... Yet again... Now, are dragons more uh, viable? Absolutely. But as we've seen, you know, it's definitely comes down to the planning phases and obviously base layout is going to make a huge difference. Now, that one base where uh, the Queen Walk had to kind of skip and jump and go here and there, that was very well executed. Uh, but this particular base, we all see these. This is more of a no-fly zone base. And basically, you just ran the, the Queen up in there and took out the enemy AD and the Queen and bingo, bingo. Uh, this attack ended strong and definitely I would call this viable on that style of base. So this is my last attack here, guys. And this is by Clash Pub. This is by Raju of Clash Pub. And this base is a little, as you can see, it, it does have, you know, max, max uh, wizard towers. A little bit more substantial on that, but I think the, I'm not sure that the ADs are all max. Um, looks like the bows, the bows are maxed. Um, the infernos are maxed. So this one, this base is, uh, is pretty, you know, it, it's ugly, but it's pretty good for this, uh, it's pretty solid. It's a solid base for this attack. He's using a pop, you know, a, a light and a light and an EQ. He's going to take down one of the ADs with that. Probably the one that's kind of centralized or more centered. Depends on what's in the CC there, obviously. Yep, he took that one out. That's the one I thought. And now he's going to start his drags. Just building that funnel. This is Town Hall 8 uh, essentials here, you know. You put your drags, start them on the outside, funnel in. Everything works together, starts punishing the core. He's got a lot of spells here, guys. He he used a Sui, uh, you know, a Sui intro uh, with his with his heroes and and sacrificed them for a couple of AD. And so now he's got all these spells that he has not used to take care of the space. Really nice work here. He's saving that last haste. I'm sure he's going to start dropping his Laloon. Or no, La, not Laloon, but his loons per se. And here they go. A little haste gets him in on that air defense. Now the dragons don't have to fight the whole base. He's got three more balloons. I'd get him down on that wizard tower as quick as possible. Or I think Raju wants to use him for cleanup. Actually, he brought him in on that bow. That bow was going to be a problem. And guys, this base is a wrap. So I would say on dragons, I would say they're a little bit more viable than miners. So guys, with that being said, I would give miners uh, a dead. They're dead. And I would give dragons, you know, plausible. Uh, but, you know, if you're in a league war and you need to get that three star, your, your hogs are going to be your better option, obviously, right now. Right now where the game is. So, yes, in fact, dragons and miners are theoretically dead. Guys, if, there's a, if you haven't heard of Clash Champs, there's a new way to compete in Clash of Clans. Check it out, Clash Champs. And guys, don't forget about Saturday or Sunday nights with me and Echo Through Me, the Spring Trap Show. Uh, it's, a, it's a live stream, guys. You don't want to miss it. And guys, if any of you guys are interested in joining our family of clans, the Circle of Clans, simply just click on the link in the description. It will put you either to our main server or our recruitment server. It depends on if your clan wants to join versus if you want to join. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I am out of here.